Today I'm going to show you a fabulous technique using distress inks to make colourful backgrounds. You can see here, all I've used is just a rubber stamp, but the background really pops out from the background. So what I'm using is distress inks. Now a lot of people just use distress inks for inking the edges of their cards, but these inks can do a whole lot more. I'm using a non-stick craft sheet and a couple of distress ink colors here. I'm just choosing a couple of ones that go together. Um, so what we're doing is just placing some distress inks directly onto the non-stick craft sheet. You can see that there. And we'll just go with another color. Now you wanna put your colors side by side. And then because distress inks are reactive with water, we're just using a little water spray bottle. We're gonna add some water here to the inks. Now see how that pools up? That's the ink reacting with that water. And I'm using just a piece of white cardstock. So we're just gonna place our cardstock down, give it a twist and lift it up. And look at that, you've got a wonderful background. So we just use a heat tool here. I'm just gonna heat that up and just dry that out a bit. You'll notice you'll have quite a lot of ink around the edges. Now you can pat that with a paper towel and we'll do that in a moment. But just for now, just our first layer, we would just wanna make sure that that's nice and dry. And you'll also notice here, we've got a little bit of a white spot in the centre and around the edges. And we've also got a lot of ink left on our craft sheet. So rather than waste it, we're just going to go in with a second little layer and just pat those areas that were still white. And you can see here, we're building up the background, making it into a beautiful distressed ink background. So we'll just dry this part as well. So I'm just drying this off here. I'm just gonna pat that dry there. Just those little bits and bobs. Okay, so now we've got a great background, but there's even more what we can do with that. Now distress inks will always react with water. So even though this background has been dried, it's still going to react with a little bit of water. So what we're doing now is I'm just going to spray into my fingers, just a bit of water and just flick that onto the background. Now those water droplets are going to react with that water. I mean, sorry, with that ink. So just let that sit there for a moment. Then we'll get a heat tool. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can use a heat tool here and that's gonna stop and halt that water right where it is. Or you can just let it dry naturally or just get a paper towel and pat that off. So the next thing, what we want to do now is if you really want to just edge it nicely, just grab a uh, ink blending tool. And depending on what colour you'd like, I'm just going to use like a frayed burlap colour. But you might want to use like the greens or the blues that were in the original colours. And I'm just going to blend some ink just on the outside and that just frames the actual background. And then there you have it. There's a nice, beautiful background. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stamp onto it so it's ready to go onto a card. So what I'm using here is the new Sydney stamp sets by Darkroom Door. Right down the bottom here, it's got a beautiful um, image here of the Harbour Bridge, perfect for all of us Aussies. So I'm just gonna get that out of the stamp set, place that onto a block here. and then ink it up. Now I'm using an archival ink. This is an oil-based ink and it really retains the detail in all of the rubber stamps. So you just ink it up from the top and what you see there, I don't know if you can see it there on screen, but I can see now that that whole image has been inked up. So all we do now is just stamp it onto our background and you want to give firm pressure, but you don't want to rock the stamp. You just want to give it a bit of firm pressure and then lift it off. And there we have our stamped image onto the background. Now I'm just going to show you one that I've done previously here that's already trimmed down. So what you can do here now is you can trim that down so it's ready to go onto your card. And I've done this one here before and it's ready to go. So again just using the ink blending tool, I'm just going to lightly ink just around the edges. Now this is a fun way just to add a bit of, you know, a bit more vintage to your project. So just ink up all around there. And 
and it doesn't matter, you don't need to go right into the centre because remember we're going to cover that up with our stamped image. So then what we'll do now is just attach that and then attach that to our card, just like that. And here's one that I've done that's completely finished. And you can see here, you can see where the Distress Ink background and all the water has reacted with it and it's got lots of blended colours. And I've then added it to our book page. And all I've done here is I've just used a Tim Holtz stapler just to add a little bit of extra interest to the card. So while I've used this onto a card, you can also use it here on tags. And I've also created over here a scrapbook page which is using that complete technique. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next show.